Hello everyone, it's Matt here again, and it's another unboxing video of Now That's Right Go Music cassettes. So, let's dive in. This is a recent eBay find. Apparently, this box used to belong to something else, but <laughs> repurposing and recycling and all that. So let's dive in. I'm sure uh, some of you guys know that I do like my Now albums. I grew up with them, they were a big part of my childhood, and I got a lot of them on vinyl and CD, but trying to build up the tape collection. So I ordered this lot off of eBay for a fairly reasonable price. Now there are some duplicates in here, well duplicates in the sense that I already have them, but Let's have a look here. Open this up. We've got a whole that's very interesting padding. Okay, cool. Alright. So I'm just gonna pull these out. You can kind of see them in the box here. And we'll pull them out one by one. Let's see what we've got. First up is now 16 uh, from 1989. Very last out now of the 80s actually. Um, I do already own this. Um, I will probably do a quick check just to see if it's any better than the one I already have. I'm pretty sure the uh, the cassette shell is different. The one I have, I think, is transparent, not uh, not white. We also have now ten. Now this would not have been the original case. These cassettes, uh, these cases didn't come about until I think now twenty was the first one to use that uh, that type of uh, case. Um, and these ones are white as well. Again, I do have this one, but I will do a check. Maybe this is an improvement. You never know. There's the other one. Let me see if I can find what I don't have. <laughs> Here we go. Here's one. Uh, now six. Do not have this one on cassette. Well, I do now. But, um, ah, interesting. This will be the first one I have that's using paper label. I've seen these before, but haven't owned one, so yeah, interesting. There's the other cassette. And um, this one is from 85, and I actually don't think it's a particularly great now album, but there are a few classics on here. So for example, we've got Queen One Vision, um, Simple Minds Alive and Kicking's on here, so is uh, Fergal Sharky, A Good Heart, which was a, a number one. Um, Tina Turner, We Don't Need Another Hero, that's a bit of a classic, as is Kate Bush running up that hill. Uh, Separate Lives is on here, Phil Collins and uh, Marilyn Martin. Um, Midgeor is on here with If I Was, it was another number one. And one of my all time 80s favorites is on here, Tarzan Boy by uh, Baltimore. Um, but it's got a few duds on here. Uh, cassette 2 Side 1 is a bit iffy. Um, in particular so yeah it's just it's just okay for me um, now this is a, another new one on cassette this is a bit of a later now this is now 38 I'm not too worried about the crack cases I've got I've got extras um, and there's the example of the tablet light you can kind of tell it's a later one just from the look of it that uh, it's kind of silver backing with the transparent case this one is from 97, yeah, 1997. And this never had a vinyl release because the last ever now album released on vinyl, at least as far as kind of the original numbered series goes, was 35. But uh, it's got some good 90s stuff on here. We've got Chumba Wamba, Top Thumping, Big Hit, um, uh, Spice Girls, Spice Up Your Life, Backstreet Boys, As Long As You Love Me. There you go, I've got a bit of time for that. Um, what else do we have? Gala, Free From Desire, uh, that's a great track. Sash, Stay, um, Tina Moore, Never Let You Go, that's a good one as well. Um, Radiohead, Karma Please, Moby, James Bond theme, that was good as well. Oasis, Stand By Me, The Verve, The Drugs Don't Work, 
um, Ash, Life Less Ordinary, Texas Black Eyed Boy. So there is some good stuff on him. Now 23. This is one I do have on both vinyl and, in fact, I have it on vinyl CD cassette already, but um, can't remember. It is a, on a, it's got the black shell. I can't remember if this is uh, if it's a different style to the one already I've already got on cassette. Um, it's an okay now album. The first three tracks are great: Chas Minaccia, John Cicada, and Charles and Eddie. Um, but it, it goes off the rails a little bit in places, um, uh, especially cassette one, side two, where you've got, there's a lot of uh, reissues on here and a lot of like remixes and things like that. Uh, much better is the one before that, which was now 22, released in the summer of 1992. I remember this well. Uh, this would have been the, the shell, the cassette shell that I would have been used to. I remember a lot of these back in the day. And this is this is a great new album. This has got some good stuff on it. Erasure, Take a Chance on Me, which I understand is a color version. It flies in the face of what I just said about now 23. But uh, finally, C.C. Peniston. Um, the first ever appearance of Take That on an album is on here with um, it, only, it Only Takes a Minute, excuse me. Snap Rhythm as a Dancer. Utah Saint, Something Good, I was like that. The Cure, Friday I'm in Love. Mark Allman, The Days of Pearly Spencer is another good song. And I really like the opening of uh, Cassette 2 Side 1 as well with um, Richard Marks Hazard and Elton John The One. I always like that. Um, the Shaman is on here as well with LSI. U2 are on here. So I think it's one of the better new albums. Now 18. Again, this is one I do have already. And if uh, there's, don't worry, we're going to get to a few that I don't already have. Um, that is the shell. Underrated now album. The six number ones on here, I think. I think it's six. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Oh, was it only five? I thought it was six. No, it is six. Okay, yeah. Um, there's a lot of cover versions on here as well, or reissues, but I think it's set two in particular is just great. The, the, like the dance slash pop. Uh, Sides, um, it's good stuff like Pet Your Boys, uh, Base of Maddox, Soul to Soul, DNA featuring Suzanne Vega, Sting, The Cure, Nina Cherry, Blue Pearl, Kylie's on here, Kim Appleby, that's a great song by Kim Appleby, uh, Technotronic, oh, I can never pronounce their name, uh, Bomb, Bomb Bomb Arena, is that it? I'm not even going to go into the backstory if anyone is not familiar with what that was about. It was a number one, shockingly, but. Uh, but anyway, yeah, really good stuff. Okay, now 13. Yes, I do have this one already. That's okay. The one I have, I'm pretty sure, is on a white cassette. This one is black. And I've got a lot of time for this one, too. I think it's a good now album. You've got The Only Way Is Up by Yaz and the Plastic Population. It's just a house classic. A Razor, A Little Respect. It's a pop classic. Um, really really underrated is Ordinary Angel by Hue and Cry. It didn't even make the top 40. I think it made 42 or something. Um, they're best known for two or three songs. Uh, Looking for Linda and Labor of Love are probably the best well-known songs. Um, I think Ordinary Angel is a, a terrific song. It should have done better but anyway. Uh, Phil Collins and Groovy Kind of Love is on here. Bobby McFerrin, Don't Worry Be Happy. Um, Really good little pop section here with um, Kim Wilde, UK, uh, Brother Beyond the Hard Ride, Try it, Bomb the Bass, Don't Make Me Wait, that's a, that's a cracking song. So, um, yeah, it, it's good. Okay, here's one I don't have. Okay, I, I do have it on vinyl. And I have it on CD, but the CD version is only one disc, so it's not complete. At least not the original. It's been reissued since, but... And that is now nine. This is from the early part of 87. I think this was released in March 87, I think. And um, there's the tape. This one has a lot of number ones on it as well. Now that's interesting. That's interesting. Two different shells. They're both black, but look, the windows are different. I don't know if you can tell very easily, but this one's a little tighter than that one. But they're both now nine. Sides one, side two, side three, side four. Hmm. I wonder if this is pulled from two different 
now nines maybe possibly but um uh this has got good stuff on it too um like bon jovi living on a prayers on here genesis land of confusion europe the final countdown okay um taffy i love my radio still steve silk pearly jackie body curiosity killed the cat down to earth that's a great track uh, mental is anything live it up they're a, a real one-hit wonder in the uk um pepsi and shirley heartache i always used to like that berlin take my breath away there you go top gun <laughs> all right now we're going to jump back to the 90s with now 28 i do have this on vinyl no yeah i do have it on vinyl i have it on vinyl and uh, cd um but i did not have it on cassette the the um case is completely shot but that's okay i'll replace it this is from the summer of 94. Okay, there's a tape. There's the other. And it brings back a lot of memories, this does. Uh, summer holidays as a kid. Um, and it's got, it's got some good stuff on it. Wet, 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 love is all around, which was at number one forever in the summer of 94 in the UK. I mean, how long was it number one? It was something crazy, like 14 weeks or something. I mean, I remember it got to number one in like May or something. It was still number one in early September. It was something like that. And it it was just played to death on the radio. So everybody got bored of it, but it was still number one somehow. Um, but like uh, All For One, I Swear, is on it. Ace of Base, Don't Turn Around. Uh, Blur, Girls and Boys, another good track. Um, Seal, Prayer for the Dying, Erasure, Always. Um, it's got like Hadaway, Two Unlimited is on here. Um, Tony DeBart, The Real Thing, that was the number one. That's a good song. So, uh, yeah, pretty good. Another one that I, I do not have on cassette until now. That is now seven. I don't have this on CD either. Now, this was not originally released on CD back in the day. It has since been reissued, although I think it's missing a couple of tracks. Um, I do have the vinyl, but uh, let's have a look. Yeah, this is a tape that I remember from back then. <laughs> this sort of off-white uh, shell color. Yeah, that's the other one. So far, the pads are looking good. So that's nice. Um, and I think Now 7 is really underrated. I think it's a really good Now album. Now, notice something interesting. And it talks about a queen, a bonus track, kind of magic. Um, a lot of the vinyl copies have this sticker on it too. I guess they use the same for same sticker for the vinyl as they did for the tapes. And I believe I'm trying to think where a kind of magic is. Is it is it on cassette two side one? It's the last track. It's something like that. Uh, and I believe the reason was due to licensing. They didn't get the licensing for it until after they'd already designed, you know, the track listing, the, the sleeve and everything. So it was a very last minute inclusion. But anyway, this has got some great stuff on it, like Peter Gabriel, Sledgehammer, um, Level 42, Lessons in Love, that's really good. Pet Your Boys, Opportunities, Krista Berg, Lady in Red. It's a bit of a Marmite sort of song. If you don't know what Marmite is, it's like, sort of like Vegemite in Australia, although Marmite actually came first. Um, it's, uh, it's an acquired taste. If you didn't grow up with it, it's, it's something you would put on toast, that type of thing. Um, anyway, Mama is a sort of love it or hate it type of thing, and I think a bit like Lady of Red, but it was, it was my late stepfather's favorite song, so I've always got time for it. Um, Genesis Invisible Touches on here. David Bowie, Absolute Beginners. Um, Furniture, Brilliant Mind, really underrated song. Wham, The Edge of Heaven. Wham, um, usually appeared on the Hits album series, but sometimes there was a gap between releases where the Now albums did not overlap with the Hits album, and so uh, Wham as an example, as is Aha, which was usually on the on the rival Hits album, but Hunting High and Low is on here. So, but yeah, we got Hunting High and Low by Aha, Wham, The Edge of Heaven, which is which was their last single release before they split up. Um, Owen Paul is on here with My Favorite Waste of Time, which I think is a really good, a really good cover. Um, Oh, who did the original? Um, oh, um, what's his face? Crenshaw. Uh, oh, it's gonna bug me. Bug me now. Now I gotta, now I gotta look at the uh, the notes. It's gonna tell me. 
I've even got the album. I think no, no, I don't. No, I don't have the album. I have an album of his. Um, it was. It's definitely something Crenshaw. Ooh, these are a bit sticky. I wonder what that is. Anyway, um, uh, it doesn't say. Well, does it say who wrote it? Yeah, not to worry. Not to worry. Um, that's really gonna annoy me. That I can't remember his first name. Um, in any event, what else is on here? Um, Simply Red holding back the years. Lovely song. Doctor and the Medics with their Carol Spirit in the Sky. Um, Billy Ocean when the going gets tough is a big number one. Uh, yeah, Banana Rama, Venus. What a great track that is. So, yeah, I've got a lot of time for now. Seven. Two left. One I already have on tape, one I don't. We'll start with the one I do, which is now 17. The very first now album of the 90s. Um, pretty sure this is the same uh, black style clam uh, shell that I've already got. And it's an okay now album. Um, there's good stuff on here from Erasure. Paula Abdul is on here with Opposites Attract. Um, Beats International, Don't Be Good To Me, and Adamski Killer, I think are the two number ones on here. Um, side two, so cassette one, side two is terrific. Um, Happy Mondays, Primal Scream, Depeche Mode, Jesus Jones, In Spiral Carpets, The House of Love, Faith No More, and The Choir Boys. I mean, it's a real, sort of pre Britpop Manchester uh, alt rock feast. It's just, it's one of the best, one of the best sides of any now album, I think. Um, so, yeah, it's good. The very last one, last but not least, it's one I do have on vinyl and on CD. Now I have it on cassette, and that is now 19. I had this when I was a kid. Now, the, unfortunately, the the inlay looks a little bit worse for wear. It's not too bad, it's just got some, you can see it's got some wear down the side here, but the inside looks okay. I was wondering if it was water damage, but I don't, uh, it could be, but yeah, it's only in that sort of spot there. It's probably just where it's stuck at some point. Um, this one looks okay at the back, so I'm not sure what that's about. but. Anyway, this was um, this was released in 1991. Uh, yeah, um, I think early-ish 91. And yeah, I just remember this from back in the day. Now, the the, the artwork is absolutely horrific. Um, I it <laughs> they went on they they had this whole thing going the now albums right up until up until now 17 where you had the the sort of colored balls here. And they made this kind of, this was supposed to look digital, right? We were going into the 90s, digital stuff, compact discs, CD-ROMs, that sort of thing, right? And then later on, they moved into the sort of 3D uh, stuff. The Now 20 was the first one to have a 3D logo. I don't have that right here, but we do have 22, of course, so you can see that 3D effect, which they stuck with, you know? You look at other ones from the 90s, 3D effect right there on now 28. Same thing with now 23. So, and that's continued to this day. Um, it's gotten more elaborate with stuff going on in the background, but it's essentially the same thing. Well, now 18 and 19, we were treated with these two horror stories. And I, I don't know what they were thinking. I, I, it's, I think this is a good now album, but the, the artwork is just hideous. I like the back of it though. It's very easy to read, so I like that. <laughs> but um, yeah, I don't know. They 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 saw the light pretty quick, so that's good. But uh, this is an okay now album with a terrific side one, a decent side two, and a bit of a drop off with sides three and four, with the odd exception. So um, so we've got like the clash. Should I stay or should I go? Really good stuff. Um, a very interesting cover of the Beatles, uh, She's a Woman, by Scritti Politti, featuring Shabba Ranks, which I could never, I'm always on the edge of whether I like it or don't like it. <laughs> um, I guess I like it in small doses. Uh, the Source, featuring Candy Staten, You Got the Love, club classic, okay. Speaking of classics, KLF, 3AM Eternal, that was a number one, that's a great track. 
uh, CNC Music Factory Gonna Make You Sweat, another all-time early 90s dance classic, uh, club classic, um, followed by Nomad with I Wanna Give You Devotion, it's another classic. Um, EMF, I believe, is okay. It's not as good as the better known song, um, Unbelievable. 808 Stay In Your Face is just okay, but then we finish on a high with Unfinished Sympathy by Massive Attack. Even though on here, I think I've mentioned this in another video at some point, it actually says, if you can see it, Massive, and not Massive Attack right there. There we go. And the reason being is that um, the Gulf War, Iraq, Kuwait, and so on, had started by this point. And they thought that massive attack would be triggering. Honestly, yeah, I don't want to, I don't say anything about it. I don't agree with it, but anyway. Um, and, and side two is pretty good as well. Uh, MC Hammer, which would be okay if it was You Can't Touch This, but it's Prey, which isn't great. Um, Kim Appleby with a decent follow up to her debut single. Can't even know what do I have to do, which is a, a terrific pop song. It's very cleverly done. Um, we have a horrific song called The Stonk by Hale and Pace and the Stonkers, but it did get to number one. It was one of those cherry novelty songs. Those in the UK will be familiar with Comic Relief, if you're not, which uh, was uh, still going, I think. It was an annual um, TV fundraiser, uh, basically. And they would often have a song associated with it. Um, we have, I think underrated, uh, Bow Down Mister by Jesus Loves You, which was uh, a front for the, the boy George, a uh, fronted band. Um, it's a really cool song with a really nice break partway through it, um, where the song just switches completely. And the absolute classic Sadness Part 1 by Enigma, what a great track that is. And then the rest of it's a little bit patchy. Uh, we get the good. Elite Adams get here, Rick Cassidy, Cry for Help, um, Seal, Crazy. We get this sort of, eh, Robert Palmer, Mercy, Mercy Me. Bill Medley and Jennifer Wards, I've had the time of my life, which is a really good song, but it, it was four years old by this point, almost four years old. The Righteous Brothers, You've Lost a Loving Feeling, classic track. It just feels out of place and on a modern, or what was then a modern compilation. Um, and uh, yeah, there's other, there's a, one or two other um, uh, sort of re reissues or, or cover versions on here, like uh, All Right Now by uh, Free. Um, maybe that was it actually. Um, Innuendo by Queen is on here, that's okay. Um, Summer Rain by Linda Color, Disappear by In Excess, which I actually think is a decent track. So, you know, it's it's actually it's actually decent, particularly because set one. So Alright. I've prattled on for long enough. Thank you so much as everybody for watching. I always appreciate everybody who comments and, and subscribes. Um hopefully my voice hasn't been too quiet. I will try to boost it. But I'm recording downstairs normally if nobody else is home, I can record upstairs in the loft area where I've got all the records and everything. Um, I could also record out in the garage, but I thought it'd be kind of nice to put on these little now commercials in the background while I did this. So I thought, well, I'll record it inside the house in the living room. Um, but everybody's asleep. <laughs> it's, it's almost 11.30 at night uh, right now as I'm recording this. So I'm speaking a little bit quietly, but I will try to boost it. All right. Thanks again, everybody who comments and subscribes. Always appreciate it. Thanks again for watching, and until next time, bye-bye.